What's up guys, looks like we're uh, over here now. We got the boat in the landing and uh, we're getting ready to take off. We're gonna go up, this is day one of the moose hunt. It's uh, about six o'clock right now in the morning and uh, yeah, looking forward to it, it's gonna be a good one. Hopefully we get a big bull this season, we'll see, nothing's guaranteed, but uh, you never know, so wish us luck. Hopefully I'll uh, see some then on the way down, who knows, it's happened before, we'll see. Note to self, next season bring warmer weather gear. It's uh, a little bit colder than I thought it'd be, but uh, hopefully we'll make everything work. Hey guys, we finally made it to our destination. We're at uh, our cabin and uh, it took about two hours to get up here this morning. And uh, as you can tell, we got a bunch of our gear coming up, all our gas, everything else in the boat. And uh, yeah, we're here for the night. Uh, I think we're gonna spend a couple nights here at the cabin. We're gonna spend a couple nights up river, uh, just in the tents or sleeping on the boat. And then uh, right now we're just gonna pack, kind of get situated and uh, kind of go from there, set a plan, see where we're at. Unfortunately, we didn't see any moose coming up the river today. Uh, we're gonna go back out once we unload. Hopefully we can uh, find some cows crossing the river. Hopefully uh, it's, it's always a good sign seeing cows. Hopefully some uh, bulls are in the area and uh, yeah, go from there. So I'm gonna get unpacked and uh, we'll go. Thanks guys. So update, uh, day one, uh, unfortunately we seem to have lost a uh, pulley on one of the uh, fan belts for the engine. So we're gonna see if we can get someone to come up here and give, uh, bring us one. We're gonna get over to the sat phone and uh, call for some help. Um, I mean, geez, only first four hours in the day and already got engine problems. So hopefully we can get it fixed. Can you believe that came out? Tell me right now what's the issue just so I so I know. Uh, the idler pulley is gone. The tensioner. See, this is a tensioner right here. But that's that's un that's unbelievable that that came off. I can't believe it. I got it out. So the thing literally rattled. The vibration rattled that loose. Wow. Well, not only did it snap, but the vibration was able to enough to let that whole thing go. So it broke and the thread backed out. So my concern is, this shuts us down. That's not the tensioner. But it might have been the tensioner that broke off. So update, uh, we don't know if it's the tensioner or the pulley in the engine that's running the belt for the uh, uh, water pump. So that's what we're trying to figure out right now. We we're trying to get a hold of someone on the sat phone, see if they can bring it up. There's a couple cabins along the river uh, with uh, with my uncles here. So we're down in another cabin right now and they, they have a sat phone. So we're trying to call, trying to see if we can get someone to bring it up, but we don't have the number to the uh, auto parts store. So we're trying to figure that out right now. But once we can figure that out, uh, we have one of my uncle's mechanics that used to work on the engine a lot and we're trying to get in contact with that guy see if he can get it going see if he can get it working but right now um pretty much day one is over uh we can't hunt anymore and we can't do anything so we're hoping we can have a friend bring it up river tomorrow 
uh, that might join us for the hunt possibly, or he might just go further up river on his own with another party. So we're trying to figure that out, but uh, hopefully we can get it done. Um, sucks to fly all the way up to Alaska uh, and for nine days and then one or two days are just literally we can't do anything. I mean, we can sit on the bank, we can hunt from the bank or we can wait some spots and we can canoe out, but we can't really go up, down, up or down river like we want. So we're just kind of stuck. So we'll just see how it goes and see what we can do. So hopefully we can get the part fixed and uh, we can get back to it. But right now, uh, just drama day one. So we'll see what happens. I just got back to the four-wheeler and uh, I'm gonna head back to the cabin. Mosquitoes are absolutely killing me right now. So I think I'm gonna call it for the day. Maybe I'll go sit up at the river bank, watch all the couple boats go by, <laughs> some, uh, some other hunting parties. And we'll uh, watch a little bit envious, I guess. And um, just plan for tomorrow. I don't know what tomorrow's gonna look like. Maybe we'll, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll just go sit on a bank for the day and just see what happens to me, you know? Maybe we'll get lucky, but Right now there's just really no plan, so I'm just gonna head back to camp, see, uh, see what we can do for the night. What's up guys, it's today's day two. Uh, not a big plan today, but we're still waiting for our parts. Hopefully good first thing in the morning so we can start head up river, but we're just gonna sit out on the riverbanks today. Just, uh, there's, we know there's a few places where they like to cross in the morning and at night. So we're just gonna sit with our binoculars and just, uh, just have some coffee this morning and just really just, just be on the lookout, I guess. That's all we can do for now. But just take it easy and who knows, we'll see, see what happens. But day two, here we go. All right guys, so this is the rifle I'm using. I'm using the Tika T3 Lite and uh, 30 out six. I've always been a fan of the Ot 6. That's what uh, my grandpappy had, my daddy had, me had. That's what I got now. So I've just kind of always ran these 300 wood mag in the past. Um, on it, I have the Leopold, Leopold um, Picatinny mount on top. I recently just put that on. And then I'm running the Vortex Diamond Optic on it. It's a 3.5 to 10 uh, power scope. And yeah, right now it's pretty simple. Uh, the light gun, I love it. It's great for backpacking. But this is basically the setup I have. I got some tape on here for the flip up caps because this one kind of tends to slide off so i just wanted to get uh make sure it's sturdy it doesn't look that sexy but it works and that's what it's all about functionality i could really care less how it looks and yeah but this is the rifle that i'm using so i've gotten two moose with it so far it's great and i love it day two today so it's raining all day today so i guess it's not one of those bad days to kind of just hunker in, hunker in and just kind of relax and read a book, do some scoping or some uh, glassing and see, but you know, it's good. Hopefully it gets the moose moving and uh, get some bulls coming up down in the valley and hopefully into the river, cross river and you know, all that kind of stuff with the rut going on. So we'll see, but you know, rains, it sucks to work in, but it's also good for getting the moose to move. So we'll see what happens, so stay tuned. So today's day three, uh, parts for the boat should be coming in, uh, hopefully tonight. Uh, a friend of ours that's bringing it up, he said he's gonna pick up the parts in town around two, three o'clock. Once he gets them, then he's gonna head up river. So it's about an hour drive outside of town and it's about a two hour boat ride up river to the hunting cabin. And hopefully it'll not take more than 30 minutes to install everything tonight. So maybe tonight we can get laid up on the river, but pretty much just a down day today. 
a down day today again. Just um, looking at the river, looking at the crossing, just kind of sitting out. Uh, just going to do some work around the cabin today um, while we wait. Not a whole lot we can do. And uh, yeah, so just another down day. So unfortunately, the first three days, first three days of the hunting, is just not much happening, unfortunately. But it's all right. It just gives us things to do here. Got to take care of the place. Um, uh, stack wood, fireplace, all that kind of stuff. Get things in order. And who knows, you know, it's uh, getting a little bit colder. It rained all day yesterday. So hoping... I'm hoping that that's causing all the bulls to start coming down through the valley into the river. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, today's just going to be one of one of those other kind of idle days and we'll see what happens. But hopefully things get moving soon and hopefully that part works tonight. If not, we're probably going to go back into town, back into town and uh, get a different boat and come back up river. So that's just another day lost. But uh, unfortunately, this has just been one of those years where things just aren't going, going according to plan. But hopefully we can get things to be... Uh, fixed and uh, going smoothly soon so we'll see but I'll keep you guys updated and uh, we'll see what happens. What's up guys so we're back uh we actually ended up calling it a night on day or calling it a day for day four uh rain started coming in getting crazy so we literally just booked it out of there real quick it took us about 30 minutes to get back to our hunting camp from up river came back down i think we're done for the night um it's just raining too much we just want to be stuck in the rain just be wet all night so and then plus it's already towards the end of the night so if we got something we'd be stuck in we have to sleep up river plus gut the moose if we got one so we just called it a night we're gonna get back to it first thing in the morning but right now it's just coming down and we beat it luckily we're back here at the cabin but man it was coming down hard so i'm just happy that we're back uh just gonna have a beer relax have a cup of coffee irish coffee and <laughs> tonight we're just gonna call it a night uh, but anyway i'll get back with you guys tomorrow Right now, 
a real good spot, real good crossing for moose. So we're gonna hang out here for a few minutes and let that let the fog lift so we can see a little better. Sounds good. But there's been a lot of bulls killed right in here. Okay. Um, another boot on the river that we heard, so we're gonna let them get some distance anyway. Looks like we either got a wolf or a bear track. I can't tell with this one. Looks like a maybe a bear track. Lots of moose tracks. Lots of moose tracks. Uh, it looks like cows. This is good moose country back here. Uh, there's a lot of tracks, a lot of places where the moose are laying down. Day five, end of the day. Uh, it's been raining, it's been foggy. Uh, a lot of rain today, but we're making do. Uh, we came to New Slough right now. We're gonna stay here for a bit for the end of the night. We've got a couple hours of daylight, and then we'll probably head back to the cabin. But a lot of good signs here. We might try this spot tomorrow, but so far, uh, today's been a good day. Saw two cows, um, no bulls, but a lot of good signs. So. It's still a little early in the season. We, we started our season um, earlier than we normally do, so it needs to get a little bit colder maybe before we start pushing those bulls back into the valley, but it is what it is, so maybe we'll get lucky. We'll see. But uh, anyway, good, good day so far. Hopefully it continues and we'll see what happens. Today is day six. Feeling pretty lucky today. Uh, no fog today, but it is overcast. So I'm hoping that uh, and it's cold. So hopefully that gets the moose moving today. So we'll see what happens, but wish us luck. So good signs over here. Looks like we got some moose tracks coming through and definitely coming into some moose crap. So they are on this uh, part of the uh, bank here on the river. Today is an exceptionally cold day. Um, freezing my butt off today. So it'd be really nice to get a moose so we can uh, get working and get our blood flowing. So uh, come on moose, I'm ready for you guys. It's, uh, not feeling very good, not seeing anything today, so it's kind of a discouraging, but what can you do? You know, it's part of hunting. Sometimes you get one, sometimes you don't, but uh, I'm definitely ready to get a moose right now. So it's good. only a couple days left and get a little antsy, ready to get going. So just real quick for some of you guys wondering, so when I'm out here, I carry a Glock 21 on me, 45 auto. I know it's not a 44 mag, I know it's not a 10 mil, all that good stuff. Those would be better bear guns, but we are in bear country and the largest caliber I own is a 45. So that's what I carry simply because that's the largest caliber that I own. So I know a lot of guys are going to type it in the comments and they're going to be like, you need a 10 mil, you need a 44 mag. I mean, I get that. And if I had one, I would, but I don't. The most important spot of the day, ladies and gentlemen. John, what are we doing right now? Fixing a nightmare. <laughs> that will probably take a while to pump this through. <laughs> yes, I think so. But at least we're not. At least it's working.
So maybe some of you guys are wondering what I've been wearing on my chest as you watch the video. And if you were wondering, I'll explain it. So basically what I have here is this is my binoculars and my rangefinder that I wear in a, uh, in a chest rig. And what I have is I have the Vortex Crossfire um, binoculars. They're 10 by 50 powered. And I like them a lot so far. Um, I use them for archery. That's what I initially got them for. But then I, you know, I use them for glassing and for everything else. But I got into the chest rig because I got tired of always having them in my backpack or just hanging on my neck. But with the chest rig, it just sits here all day. So I can glass and when I'm hiking around, I can put them in, take them out. And it's just, they're super comfortable and super easy. And they're not really that expensive. They're great optics. I've always been kind of a Vortex fanboy. I mean, that's what all my scopes are. That's what a lot of my red dots are. They're affordable. Um, they work, they're reliable and they have an awesome warranty. And so I've just kind of always stuck with Vortex for the most part, but I love it. Um, so if you guys are wondering, I think they have a few different chest rigs, but uh, they've been great so far. And then for my rangefinder, I just have a Nikon one that I use that seems to work pretty good so far. I haven't had any issues with it. And I use it a lot, for, mostly for archery, but there are times that I want, if I have to, if we're placed somewhere and I'm glassing, and I want to know how far I have to shoot. Obviously, you know, I'll do a range to kind of get my, you know, get my uh, estimate on like 100, 200, 300, 400 yards, all that kind of stuff. But any of you guys are wondering, they're great. I recommend them. I haven't had any issues with them now and I've had them for like two years, but they've been pretty kick-ass. But uh, yeah, if you guys were wondering, that's what they are. Headed back out for the night. Um, night seven. We're gonna go sit on a couple different spots, see if they get any action, uh, see if we have any moose crossing the river, feeding, see if we see any cows, all that good stuff. So, I don't know, I don't know. It's the last night. La second to last day here so starting to get a little worried hopefully something will happen soon but we'll see what happens um i don't know wish us luck day eight no moose john where's all the moose they're not here cows are here but no bulls well uh that sounds like a bunch of bull to me. All right, that's day eight of eight. Um, unfortunately, you guys probably watched this whole video and you just realized now that, well, I didn't get a moose. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, I've been three for three the last couple of years. This is the first year now that I haven't got one in the last four years. So, I mean, it happens, it sucks, but it happens. But I think we just started the hunt way too early this year. I think we need to wait another week um, when it starts getting colder. So the moose start moving more, more activity. But the thing is nobody else in the river that we know of has gotten a moose either. There's a couple other hunters up here right now and no one's gotten one. So it's not just us, it's, um, you know, it's everybody. I mean, we haven't even seen a bull. We've seen 15 cows so far. We saw three cows and a calf this morning. And, you know, we set out. We, we went a couple hours up the river, um, like 30 miles. We uh, got a spot, we glassed across the riverbank and where we saw a cow, did some calling, nothing happened. And we just stayed there for about three, four hours this morning. No activity, so we kind of called it a day. We came back into our camp. Um, we got to get my uncle's cabin closed up for the winter time before, uh, before it snows here next month. So I think today is just, that's pretty much the end of the hunt guys. I'm sorry, but that's just how it goes sometimes. We do have a two hour boat ride back down river tomorrow morning to the boat landing. You know, there's always a possibility that we could get one then. And if I do, obviously I'll show it in the video, but as of right now, looks like that's it guys. Um, thanks for watching the video, you know. I wish I had something to show you. If you're watching the thumbnail, you're like, hey, it looks like you got a moose in your thumbnail. Well, might have been a little bit of clickbaity, but that was the moose I got last year. So that was the last moose I got, which is still a great one. But hopefully if you guys have never been to Alaska, maybe you appreciated this video a little bit and you could just kind of see what river hunting looks like. You know, hopefully you guys appreciate the beauty of what the river is and just kind of the experience it is, you know, the actual moose hunt. That's, that's one of the other cabins we have here behind us. Um, but yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out on the channel. Hopefully I can be bringing some more videos to you pretty soon. And uh, those of you guys that are hunters, good luck out there. And hopefully if you guys have uh, any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. 
for me and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. But thanks again for watching guys and hopefully I'll see you soon on another hunt.